The 2024 NHL Entry Draft is said by many to be very top-heavy, as many teams are looking to add their next cornerstone piece. So, in today's video, we're going to give our projected top 10 picks of this year's draft. Well, who we have at first overall probably won't shock you, just like last year when everyone knew Connor Bedard would be first off the board. The rest of this draft's order is a bit more open. With each selection, we're considering their average draft ranking, positional need, and overall ceiling. Though this will of course depend on which team lands which pick. First overall, Macklin Celebrini. In the least surprising news you may potentially ever hear, we've got Macklin Celebrini going first overall in this year's NHL draft. While many teams are slacking for Macklin, Celebrini himself is doing anything but slacking. This season with the Boston University Terriers of the NCAA, the Canadian center has been tearing it up. In 32 games with BU, the kid has put up 29 goals and 25 assists, for 54 total points. Considering he's one of the youngest players in this year's draft, that's pretty remarkable, especially since he's playing in the NCAA, which is more of a physically mature league that plays closer to pro hockey than the Canadian juniors do. While Macklin isn't a generational talent like former first overall picks in McDavid or Bedard, and probably isn't on the level of an Austin Matthews, he's definitely a step up from the likes of Nico Heischer, Alexi Lafreniere, Owen Power, or Yuri Slavkovsky. In terms of recent first overall picks, we see Celebrini projecting somewhere in the range of Jack Hughes or Rasmus Dahlin. Celebrini is projected to be a star center, which is why he's been the projected number one pick of the draft since projections started coming out. TSN analyst Bob McKenzie says that it's almost inconceivable that anyone other than Celebrini will be called at number one. At six foot and 190 pounds, the center has the physical tools to become a strong top six center in the league, as was on full display during the World Juniors, as he put up four goals and eight total points in five games with Team Canada. Second overall, Anton Siliev. In what many people say is an incredibly deep draft for defensemen, it should come as no shock that a D-man jumps off the board here at number two. Anton Siliev is a Russian defenseman playing in the KHL, a league many consider to be the second best professional league in the world. This season, in 63 games with the Torpedo Mizny Novgorod of the KHL, the rugged left-handed defenseman has put up three goals and 11 points with a minus nine. While that may not sound impressive, it truly is, as he broke a league scoring record for defensemen under the age of 18. On top of the offensive potential that Siliev could bring for any potential club that drafts him, he also is tied for being the tallest eligible player in this year's draft class. The left defenseman is a hulking 6'7 and 211 pounds, making him physically ready to step into the lineup of any NHL club, which is why he's so high up on our rankings. Bob McKenzie has also ranked Siliev at second on his board, with most projections expecting him to be drafted within the top 10. Most scouts note that Siliev's skating, particularly for a defenseman of his size, is tremendous. But of course, as his size would show you, he's not afraid to throw the body around either, leading Torpedo in hits too. The defenseman is signed with his KHL club until 2025-26, so whatever team that drafts him will have to wait for a year, but that shouldn't hurt his draft stock, as another year of development in the KHL can only be a good thing for his potential. Siliev has been compared to star defenseman Victor Hedman, thanks to his blend of physicality, offensive instinct, and skating abilities. It's safe to say that whoever is lucky enough to draft the Russian defenseman will be getting a player with all the tools to be a star. Third overall, Artyom Levshunov. Continuing on with another defenseman, we've got our first right-handed defenseman taken off the board, with Artyom Levshunov being taken at third overall. The 6'2", 209-pound Bulgarian defenseman out of Michigan State has played in 34 NCAA games this season, compiling 9 goals and 23 assists for 32 points. Thanks to his fantastic season with Michigan, the defenseman has been nominated for the Hobie Baker Award this year. Levshunov is a tremendous skater, making him an elite two-way defenseman who quarterbacked Michigan's power play and was also a top penalty killer in the USHL making him an attractive asset to any NHL team thanks to the fact that he can play in all situations. Now, speaking of his time in the USHL, before his year with Michigan, the Bulgarian suited up in 62 USHL games, 
compiling 13 goals and 42 total points. Pretty impressive stuff for a young defenseman who's only played a couple years in North America. Considering his skating abilities and smooth hands, Levshunov is expected to be a first-pairing star defenseman who can play strong at both ends of the ice, similar to an Aaron Ekblad. Artyom also won gold with the Bulgarian national hockey team at the Division 1A World Juniors Tournament in 2021. Fourth overall, Ivan Demidov. Coming in at fourth overall, this may come as a shock for many who have followed the draft class this year closely, as we have the second forward of the draft coming off the books. Ivan Demidov is widely regarded as one of the best playmakers of this draft, which keeps him within the top five on our list, but between the knee injury he suffered earlier in the year that took him out for six weeks and bouncing between levels in Russia, we have Demidov dropping a bit due to the value of the defenseman previously mentioned. That's not a knock on Ivan, he's a hell of a player, it's more of a compliment than anything to the defenseman of this draft class. The right winger this season has been tearing up Russia's junior league, the MHL, as he's compiled 23 goals and 37 assists for a total of 60 points. That's 2 points per game on average. Wowza. Because of his incredible play, Demidov was named the MHL's most valuable player. The 5'11", 168-pound Russian winger has also appeared in four KHL games this season, compiling donuts all over the score sheet with a grand total of zero points, which is fairly common for wingers of his age and size. Many have compared Demidov's flashiness and playmaking abilities to Tim Stutzla, for example, so the talent is undeniable, but his lean frame leaves many scouts nervous due to the upcoming transition into the pro game. So if he can put on some weight and grow into his frame, this could be one of the next great Russian wingers to take the NHL by storm. Fifth overall, Cole Eiserman. Rounding out the top five with another forward, we've got a pure sniper being taken out of the U.S. National Development Program. Cole Eiserman may be the purest goal scorer in this draft, making him an attractive option for any team looking for some offensive help. While playing in 45 games this year for the U.S. National Development Program, the sniper has put up a whopping 48 goals and 25 assists for 73 total points. I don't know about you, but averaging more than a goal a game sounds pretty good. Many scouts note that Iserman scores from a variety of areas. As long as he gets an open look, there's a good chance he'll bury it. When considering his NHL caliber shot, clean skating, and offensive instincts, it looks like the ingredients for the next sniper in the National. When you think of Iserman, think of sharpshooters like Alex DeBrinkett or Cole Caulfield as the comparable. At 6 foot 196 pounds, the left winger is also physically ready to face pro action, but it'll likely be a year or two until he sees NHL games thanks to his commitment to Boston University. But that's alright, considering he's one of the youngest players in this draft and is almost three months younger than Celebrini. There is no rush to get him up to the NHL immediately anyways. Sixth overall, Sam Dickinson. The first player taken outside of the top five, not shockingly, is a defenseman. This one was tough because the next few names on this list are so close in value and potential, but I give the edge to Sam Dickinson thanks to many scouts noting that he's essentially ready to step into an NHL lineup tomorrow. The left-handed defenseman certainly has the size of an NHL blue liner, hulking over opponents with a height of 6'3 and 194 pounds. He'll certainly be able to put on some more muscle as well, which will make him even more of an effective defender. Dickinson, for good reason, is ranked within the top eight of all scouting agencies. This year in 65 games with the London Knights of the OHL, he's put up an impressive 18 goals and 49 assists for 67 points. While Canadian junior hockey is known for being a bit more loose defensively, which often allows more goals to go in, still putting up over a point per game in just your second season of action is an incredible accomplishment. The Knights defender isn't just an offensively talented blue liner, he can also play a strong defensive game, thanks to his physical presence and solid skating abilities, making him one of the more well-rounded defensive prospects in this draft and can be compared to a defenseman like, again, Victor Hedman if everything goes to plan. 7th overall, Caden Lindstrom. At 7th overall, another center comes off the board. 
Caden Lindstrom is widely regarded as one of the top forwards available in the draft, often going near the back end of the top 10 on most mock drafts. At 6'4", 216 pounds, the young center has the frame and size that NHL GMs dream of. Lindstrom is known as a power forward who uses his size to create offensive opportunities. This year, in 32 games with the Medicine Hat Tigers of the WHL, he's put up a respectable 27 goals and 19 assists for 46 total points. While a strong skater with soft hands, Lindstrom is known for his tenacity and 200-foot game. The center can play in all situations and can lead the offensive charge for his team. And of course, he's pretty solid at winning faceoffs too, which is just a tad important for a center. Lindstrom has often been compared to Pierre-Luc Dubois of the Los Angeles Kings, thanks to the prospect's potential ceiling of playing on the first or second line. Eighth overall, Zane Parekh. Going back to defense for the eighth overall selection, you really cannot go wrong between the two names left on the board. Zane Parekh, like the other defensemen left on this board, can be ranked as high as within the top five, depending on who you ask. What helps Parekh not become the last defenseman taken in the top ten is his right-handed ability. Right-handed blue liners are always coveted in the NHL, which will naturally raise Parekh's value. That being said, Zane is a tremendous prospect regardless of his right shot, projected to be a late top 10 pick who may fall into the early teens. Widely regarded as one of the most offensively gifted defenders in the draft, Parekh has been unstoppable with the Saginaw spirit of the OHL as he's put up an absurd 31 goals and 59 assists for 90 points in just 63 games this season. This offense isn't coming out of nowhere, by the way. For example, in his first season with the Spirit, he broke the OHL's all-time goals record by under 17 defensemen. So it's safe to say Zane can bring some offense to your team. With the smaller frame of 6 foot 181 pounds, Parekh at times has looked lost in his own zone and has been outworked by opponents due to relying more on stick checking and his skating abilities to cut off their angles. Still though, that offense is legit. With some development in his own zone, this kid could become the next great offensive defenseman in the NHL, similar to the likes of Adam Fox, for example, as long as he can put it all together. Ninth overall, Zeev Buyam. Coming in at ninth overall, we've got our last defenseman being selected. After a strong season with the University of Denver in the NCAA, Zeev Buyam has shot up the rankings of all draft guides and is now expected to be safely taken in the back end of the first 10 selections of the draft. Offensively speaking, Buyam is as gifted as any of the names already mentioned in this video. This season, he's put up 9 goals and 35 assists for 44 points in 36 games. For a freshman defenseman who's a bit undersized, to put up more than a point per game in a physically demanding league like the NCAA is nothing short of impressive. At 6 foot 183 pounds, Buyam will have to put on a bit more muscle to be able to handle the rigor of the NHL game as a defenseman, but his offensive IQ and strong skating abilities provide a great opportunity for an easy transition over to the pro game for Zeev. Overall though, this is a guy that can move the puck effectively and could likely play on your power play. When I watch this kid, I see Thomas Shabbat. Tenth overall, Berkeley Catton. Rounding out our top 10, we've got another center being taken off the board. Berkeley Catton is widely regarded as a safe pick to go near the back end of the top 10 of the draft and for good reason. Ranking fourth in WHL scoring, behind Zach Funk in first by just a few points, Catton may be one of the purest junior point producers on this list. With the Spokane Chiefs in the WHL, Catton has played in 66 games, compiling an absurd 52 goals and 61 assists for 113 total points. Many scouts have noted that Catton may be one of the best skaters in this year's class, allowing him to draw many penalties and create offensive opportunities. As the captain for Team Canada at this summer's Holenka Gretzky Cup, Catton led the team to a gold medal while leading the tournament in goals and points. Between his leadership, skating, and clear offensive abilities, Catton could potentially be a steal for the team that is lucky enough to draft him. So, which of these players do you hope your team will land? Were there any surprises from our order? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to click like if you enjoyed it, and make sure to subscribe for more NHL content. We'll see you in the next video.